No one likes to wait. Like many of you, I'm stuck at home due to the current coronavirus pandemic. But what are we waiting for exactly? The world's waiting for a vaccine, and what we might need is an RNA vaccine. Before we get to vaccines, let's start with how your immune system works. Your immune system acts like your body's military. When a new enemy virus breaches your barriers, your immune system is slow to respond to the infection because your cells need to sound the alarm and produce their form of ammunition known as antibodies. Antibodies bind to protein receptors on the surfaces of viruses, making them ineffective and ready for destruction. This is where vaccines come into play. Vaccines mimic a pathogen by injecting safer forms of the disease into your body, stimulating an immune response which creates the same antibodies used to defend against the actual virus. It's like a fire drill in school. It's safe, but it trains you to respond to the real threat. The most common vaccine types are live attenuated vaccines, which contain weakened versions of the pathogen, and inactive vaccines, which contain dead pathogens. However, the problem is that live attenuated vaccines are unavailable to those with compromised immune systems, and inactive vaccines require additional shots to continue protecting you, and both take years and years of testing to finally get approval. But what if there were a faster and easier way to create a vaccine? Scientists are now looking to a simple mRNA strand for answers. mRNA is found inside the cell, where it serves as the messenger between your DNA instructions and ribosomes that manufacture proteins. In protein synthesis, a gene is transcribed into mRNA, which exits the nucleus and is later translated into the basis of a protein. So if we could isolate a key protein produced by a virus and inject the mRNA strand for that protein into your body, your cells would take up that mRNA, manufacture the protein, and display that protein on its surface. This would trigger the same immune response and resulting antibodies without having to come in contact with a dead or weakened form of the virus, meaning that even those with a compromised immune system could take the vaccine. Creating RNA vaccines would also take far less time and help us respond to a mutated virus because mRNA is fairly simple to construct. And that's exactly what some scientists are doing in the race to create a vaccine for COVID-19. Companies like Moderna, for instance, aim to produce the coronavirus vaccine in just 18 months. This brings me back to my original point. It's true that no one likes to wait, but with the rapid advancement of vaccine developments for COVID-19, we can be confident that science makes way for a solution. So what we can do now, rather than wait, is hope.